keeps trying to check out. Whoa! 137 tire pins. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to Super Dave Gaming. Um, today I have a first impression game review or spotlight of Fishing Planet, a free to play game. Um, and they've added quite a bit. Been playing this for, you know, some time now. But this isn't normally up my survival alley. And I figured I'd do a game review in 2020 of this because they've added so much content to it. And, uh, Definitely, even though it's a free-to-play game, I judge these free-to-play games just like I do a pay game because I, I I think it's more about your time than it is how much the value of the game is really, more or less. So, anyway, to get started, guys, this game, as free-to-play games go, and any game as a whole, is pretty well polished. It has very few problems now it, it, it did have problems when it came out but um, now currently honestly the one thing I'm not huge on in this game is that there isn't the controls definitely feel like they're like they built this game for PC and then they kind of slapped the controls together for um, PS4 and I would say that's only in the menus the game when you're actually fishing the controls aren't too bad at all I would like to mention all, all as well this is not normally a game I'm, I'm more of a survival player than I'm not normally a fishing game player and I really do enjoy this game I've played it for you know two years or so and uh, it's gotten better as it's went and it's a very polished game now um, there's plenty of places to fish. Uh, I think there's something like 15 or 20 uh, offhand. Each place is completely different from the next, as you can see from the clips in the background. They have cool events. The fish range from anywhere from uh, two tenths of a pound or a tenth of a kilogram all the way up to... 150 pound huge fish that take you 20 minutes to roll in that are um, for everybody else 70 kilograms that just are absolute fights they have uh, challenges within each uh, place that you fish that you need to catch certain fish and then there'll be like an event or a monster fish at the end to catch and you can go back to these places to fish and get money um, the one thing I probably would mention that I wouldn't do would be buy a bunch of DLCs to the game. Um, it may help you early on, but it takes away from the depth of the game and longevity of playing it for you. And, you know, one or two packs aren't bad, but you kind of want to progress through the lakes naturally. And I think the pay-to-win the, the pay to win aspect or the paid DLCs takes it away definitely when you're going to places that are tougher that you kind of want to wait for anyway to have a lot of fun the multiplayer in this game is really good you can do fishing tournaments join random rooms with other players uh, you can do friends only rooms the there's leaderboards where you can see the best fish you've ever caught and your friends best fish it's really cool the one thing that really surprises me a lot on this game is that the community within Fishing Planet is really awesome. You will very rarely run across somebody that doesn't help you out or there isn't as, it's not as, it's competitive within the tournaments, but like just casual play, people love helping each other out on this game and it's one of the few games I can say that actually happens. Um, it's a game that, that's why it's kind of been a game I played for a long time on it. Um, because of that, if you go to a lake and you have it struggling, somebody will help you out and tell you a good spot. I mean, in the two years of playing this game, I probably only ran across one or two people that aren't very helpful and are, you know, the opposite end of that. 
All right, guys, to summarize, the two knocks on the game are basically the tutorial. There isn't a whole whole lot there. It does start you out, but it could be more in-depth. And uh, the controls on the main menu aren't the best in the menus, but you do get used to them. And uh, this game is a... I want to mention, in the time of games, when games are coming out, in Alpha and Beta, this is a very polished game. Um, it, it even was kind of when it came out compared to a lot of other games. It's really cool to see the best fish in each category you've you've gotten and your friends and to do the tournament. I highly recommend this game. Even being a free-to-play game, it gets like an 8 out of 10 from me. And as free-to-play games go, this is probably... It's right up there with Neverwinter... Uh, and War Thunder is the best free-to-play game I've uh, I've ever played, uh, hands down. And you, you should definitely give it a try just because it's a free-to-play game. If you don't like it, you don't like it. And uh, as you see in the background, I'm pretty decent at the game. So if you guys want a video or two on this or how to catch fish or a beginner's guide, please put it down in the comments. I will, definitely would have no hesitation putting out um, videos on this game whatsoever guys so hopefully this helps you out have a good one guys I was trying to check out whoa 137 tarpons